Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is WMO report on climate update. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The World Meteorological Organization has released its latest global annual to decadal climate update for 2025 to 2029. Now let's discuss about global annual to decadal climate update and WMO. The global annual to decadal climate update is issued annually by the World Meteorological Organization. It provides a synthesis of the global annual to decadal predictions produced by the WMO, designated global producing centers and other contributing centers established by the ratification of the WMO Convention in 1950. WMO became the specialized agency of the United Nations for meteorology weather and climate operational hydrology and related geophysical sciences. WMO is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. Now let's talk about key findings of the report. Global temperature trends, global average near surface temperature expected to stay between 1.2 degrees Celsius to 1.9 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels during 2025 to 2029. There is an 86% chance that at least one year in this period will exceed the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold set by the Paris Agreement. The five-year average temperature from 2025 to 2029 has a 70% likelihood to cross the 1.5 degrees Celsius warming limit. 2024 recorded as the hottest year ever with temperatures 1.55 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Arctic warming and ice melt. Arctic is warming at more than three times the global average. Winter temperatures in the Arctic expected to be 2.4 degrees Celsius above normal, more than 3.5 times the global mean. Further decline in sea ice concentration expected in Barents, Bering, and Okhotsk seas, climate risks, and extreme scenarios, there is an 80% chance that at least one year between 2025 and 2029 will be hotter than 2024. A small 1% chance exists of a year exceeding 2 degrees Celsius warming, which could cause catastrophic impacts on ecosystems and human societies. Changes in precipitation patterns, increased rainfall, likely in Sahel, Northern Europe, Alaska, Northern Siberia, drier conditions projected for the Amazon basin, South Asia likely to experience continued anomalously wet years, with exceptions. Seasonal variability expected. Not all years will follow the same pattern. Atmospheric and oceanic conditions, persistent low atmospheric pressure over Antarctica, weakening of the Aleutian low, North Pacific, linked to prolonged La Nina conditions. Now lastly, moving on to way forward, mitigation and adaptation. Urgent global climate action, accelerate emission reductions to limit temperature rise and prevent crossing irreversible thresholds. Strengthen climate resilience, implement adaptive measures in vulnerable regions, including improved water management and disaster preparedness, enhanced monitoring and research, invest in climate science and forecasting to guide evidence-based policy decisions. International cooperation. Foster collaborative efforts through frameworks like the UNFCCC and Paris Agreement to meet climate goals. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about the World Meteorological Organization. 1. WMO is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for meteorology, operational hydrology and related geophysical sciences. 2. WMO is headquartered in New York, United States. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.